Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Marketplace Seller Membership Plugin. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you how the uh, marketplace vendors will be able to purchase a membership as per the plans that have been specified by the admin from the plugin backend configuration. And apart from that, when a vendor's uh, membership expires, the products would get uh, disabled automatically and the they can purchase only one membership at a time and only one membership can be active at that time as well apart from that the number of products that the sellers add cannot exceed the product list of membership itself and uh, the admin can see the list of the sellers who have opted for the membership and uh, the admin can also assign the membership to any of the marketplace sellers as required so you can alter the memberships as well and uh, the draft in the online options under the product status tab uh, would enable only when the seller purchases the membership itself so uh, uh, what i'll be doing is i'll be showing you the uh, vendor flow first how the vendors would be able to uh, get the membership plans and then thereafter i'll be showing you uh, the rest of the flow uh, from the admins and as well so right now you can see that i've logged into my vendor account here on the left hand side i have the uh, uh, vendor account uh, uh, section here and after the successful installation of this particular plugin the uh, marketplace vendors would find the membership plans section that is here on the left hand side and the activated plans section now if i go to the activated plans section right now for example if i'm a new seller we can see that the there's no plan is active right now to check the available uh, marketplace uh, membership plans uh, the customer just uh, the uh, the uh, vendor just needs to tap here on the membership plans so uh, i'll just tap here on the membership plans and this would bring up the complete list of uh, available uh, memberships that the vendor can purchase uh, within the store itself and according to that he'll be able to upload the products as well so now under the uh, membership plans here we can see that we have four different plans that uh, the vendor can uh, purchase from so here we can see that we have a diamond gold silver and a premium membership and each has its own uh, price there and each has the membership expired time and the allowed products there so for the diamond you can see that we have the expired time as 365 days and the allowed products are uh, for uh, and the allowed products that can be uh, uploaded is unlimited now here we have some uh, restriction we can see that uh, uh, the membership expired time is until all products added so the allowed products is 500 so after the 500 products have been uploaded uh, the membership would expire same goes for this one as well it says that the expired time is 90 days and until our, all uh, products are edited so the allowed product number is 300 and lastly we have the premium membership and the expired date is 100 days and the allowed uh, products are unlimited now uh, the vendor can purchase any of these uh, memberships here now uh, according to the chosen membership plans if uh, 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 the uh, vendors would be able to upload the number of uh, or the allotted number of products into their account so here if i go to the products right now uh, because i don't have any uh, of the memberships right now if i go to activated plans uh, you'll see that we don't have any activated plans now if i go to the product section so as to add a new product you'll see that i'll have to uh, purchase a membership first to add the products so uh, here we have this particular button as well to uh, directly go to the plans there so if i tap here on the look plans will be redirected to the membership plans and from here the uh, marketplace uh, vendor would be able to choose any of the memberships there according to his uh, uh, requirement uh, like how many products he want to upload so uh, here we can see that uh, uh, let's uh, purchase one of these uh, memberships so i'll just uh, go for uh, the second one that's the gold membership let's tap here on the purchase button now one more thing is there while we are adding the membership in the cart at that time no other product can be there otherwise we won't be able to make a checkout so after adding the gold membership for two thousand dollars here uh, we'll be able to make a checkout by tapping here on the proceed to checkout button lastly here we need to uh, enter our details and then uh, we have to choose the uh, uh, payment mode for the uh, uh, for the membership that we are going to uh, purchase so that we can purchase it using the direct uh, bank transfer so i'll show you in the back end as well how we can enable this particular uh, option here for making the payment for the uh, membership so i'll just go ahead and i'll tap here on the place order button 
and the order has been placed and the order number is 131 and the total is uh, $2,000 payment method is the direct bank transfer and the uh, product details are gold membership uh, that's one and it's for $2,000 there now uh, after this now let me go back to my account section and here I'll just go to the uh, activated plan section so here it says no plan is activated so as soon as uh, the order gets completed from the back end so here's the $2,000 uh, one from John Doe uh, the status now is completed so now if I go back to the seller section here you can see the, under the activated plans we can see the gold membership has been activated and now the vendor would be able to uh, uh, add 500 products there and there's no time limit for that uh, so the uh, vendor can easily uh, select uh, the products uh, that he wants to add to the marketplace and the total number of products that he can add is 500 so whenever the limit for the uh, uh, products is reached at that time this particular membership would uh, expire now uh, if i tap here on the activated uh, okay so that was this now uh, now if i go to the product section and now if i tap here on the add product now the vendor would be able to uh, easily add his products uh, within the marketplace itself so as to list the products and thereafter the customers will be able to uh, add those uh, uh, products into the cart and can make a checkout thereafter so a uh, total of 500 products can be added by this particular uh, vendor who has purchased the plan that's the uh, gold plan the, the this one now it depends upon the uh, vendor's requirement he can choose any of the membership plans by navigating to my membership here and uh, thereafter he can uh, choose any of them there so this was the windows uh, workflow for the membership plans how the uh, windows can uh, choose the membership plans and uh, without choosing the membership plans they will not be able to add the product under the product section here so even after tapping here on the add product they won't be able so they'll see a message to uh, purchase a membership first and only after that they'll be able to uh, make use of the add product button so as to add the products uh, here and to list them within the marketplace very easily now let's hop onto the admin backend panel and let's see how this particular uh, uh, WooCommerce multi-vendor marketplace membership plugin can be configured so for that let me take you to the admin backend panel now so I've logged into my admin backend panel and on the side panel here we can see we have the membership plans so after the successful installation of this particular plugin you'll have this membership plan section on the side panel here and here we have membership plans seller, sellers plan list and the configuration so we can go to the configuration first and then we'll check the seller plans and the membership plans as well so under the configuration basically you'll be able to enable or disable the uh, status of the membership plans for your uh, web store and uh, you can also choose the allowed payment methods that would be available for purchasing the uh, memberships there at the checkout time so if you remember we had to the direct bank transfer that's why uh, we had that so here you can choose uh, your uh, payment method for that you can add multiple one at your own requirements there then just tap here on the save changes button and we are done with the uh, general configuration of the uh, WooCommerce multi vendor marketplace membership plans plugin now uh, let's go to the membership plans so under this we'll be able to see a complete list of membership plans that the admin has created as you can see here so under the name we have the premium silver gold and diamond uh, we have the membership codes the type of the membership so we can create two types uh, three types of uh, membership types one is uh, that is time dependent one is time and the number of product dependent and uh, one is only on dependent on the number of products and one is on the uh, time itself so uh, basically after that uh, you can also see that the time period for uh, the same so uh, some have the 100 days 90 days unlimited and 365 days and uh, according to the time period the number of products that can be there for the memberships uh, respective memberships you can see we have set as unlimited for the premium one 300 for the silver 500 for the gold and uh, unlimited for the diamond one and the fee amount uh, is also visible from here now here uh, under the bulk actions you can see we can enable or disable or delete any of the created membership plans so you can choose uh, a single one or you can choose multiple ones and from the drop down you can enable disable or delete anyone as per your own requirement so if i choose enable i can tap here on the apply and they'll be 
applicable i want to disable them uh, i can choose the ones that i want to disable and then tap here on the apply button and now you can see that uh, the uh, status here says disable 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 and the unlimited one is only available right now and now uh, if we go to the vendor panel here and go to the membership plans then the vendors will only be able to see that single uh, one that we have enabled right now so we have enabled only the diamond one so i'll just choose this this and this and i'll choose uh, enable apply they'll be enabled now if i go back to here and refresh the page then rest of the ones would also be visible to the vendors at the uh, under the own account panel so now you can see we have the uh, diamond gold silver and the premium membership being visible to the vendors at the storefront now to add a membership you just need to tap here on the add membership button and that will bring up the section to create a new membership so here you need to set up the membership information basically so we'll be first setting up the status for the membership you want to enable or keep it disabled you can set up the membership name here the membership code the membership type whether you want to have it for only time only number of products time and number of products so according to your own requirement you can set the membership uh, type from here so the admin can then choose the membership time period so uh, here whatever uh, number you enter would be in days so for example uh, if i uh, set it as when one for example if i set this uh, membership time period as one then what happens is that uh, so if I then entered one, then the um, marketplace vendor will be able to uh, upload and sell products in store for the set number of days here. So for only one day, he will be able to uh, upload and sell the product. So it depends upon how much membership time period you want to set up there. And uh, this particular uh, field will be used only if we are choosing uh, the uh, membership type as only time and uh, time and number of products so wherever we have the time thing only time and time and number of products they will be able to set up the time period uh, for the validity of that particular uh, membership that we're going to create according to the chosen membership type and the membership time period um, we can also choose it as only number of uh, products or time and number of products as required then we have the allowed category so here you can choose which categories can be used by the marketplace vendors to add their products to so whichever you have selected here these can only be chosen by the vendors to add the uh, categories uh, for their new products then we have the number of products so here the number of uh, allowed products uh, uh, you can set the number of uh, allowed products uh, for the membership that you're going to create and uh, this particular number of uh, products field uh, for example if i set it as 22 number of products can be added so this field will be used only in case of the uh, membership type if we have selected it as only number of products all right and time and number of products so wherever we have the product things we can set mm -hmm. the number of products there so if i choose it as only time then we have to set uh, the number of uh, 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 number of products here as uh, blank so we'll have to uh, set it as blank for that time period so then we have the fee amount we will be setting the membership uh, amount or the membership cost we will be choosing the membership color so the uh, so the uh, selected group color uh, from here whichever group color we have selected for example that would be set uh, and basically that uh, color will uh, will be displayed on the pricing page there and lastly we have the membership image here so according to your own requirement you can upload one image for the same so if i take you back to the uh, front end here you have you can see these images as well for the uh, same so uh, you can upload them from here and uh, the size should be 300 by 300 and uh, the allowed ones are g p e g p n g and g i f and lastly just tap here on the save changes button to create your new membership there now let's go back after creating the membership but the membership would be listed here and uh, now coming to the seller plan list here the admin can find all of the marketplace vendors that are there along with the uh, membership that each has so he can see the name of the uh, vendor uh, the membership plan that he has the uh, total products uh, that he has added and the uh, uh, products that are uh, basically published or online right now and the uh, membership type uh, as so this is the membership plan 
and this is the membership type like for time period for uh, only products and here you can see that it expires in 365 days for the time one and uh, the product one that's good the gold one it has no time limit so uh, the limit only uh, the membership only expires when the membership type or the set number of products have reached so from here the uh, admin can assign a membership to a marketplace vendor as well so if I had a uh, window who didn't have a membership, I can assign a membership to him as well. Apart from that, we can also change a membership. So if I choose uh, it as a premium membership here, and I, and I tap here in the assign one, we have the premium membership assigned to this particular one. So I can choose John Doe, for example, if he has the gold membership, I can choose it as a premium one, and I can assign that particular one to this uh, uh, vendor as well as per the requirement there so uh so uh, that was much about the uh, woocommerce multi vendor marketplace membership plans uh, plugin and i hope it helped you out on understanding the workflow of this uh, particular membership uh, plugin and uh, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video uh, helpful do give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can raise it to get at webpool.uvidus.com you can also uh, get back to us uh, uh, using our contact uh, section that's uh, and uh, basically you can reach that by navigating to www.webpool.com forward slash contacts there and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead